Sean Pittman, the person, remember, he's, he was one of the first players that came with me from DeKalb, Georgia Perimeter, when uh, we made the move to uh, start this program, and he was one of the 13 that was uh, I talked to in, in two to come. Uh, Sean was uh, always very professional in everything that he did, the way he dressed. Uh, the way he had to look, the shoes clean, he had to be the most professional ball player on the field. Uh, everything he did, he did uh, that way. Sean was a, uh, he, he was a lead by example type of guy. You know, he wasn't a rah-rah guy. And um, I had a lot of respect from all his teammates. Um, he wasn't gonna get in your face, but you, you watched him and he motivated you because you knew this guy's doing things the right way. First time I met him was probably at a, uh, we had a, a, a team meeting, you know, the first day of school. And uh, all those guys that came from the cab, like you said, there were several of them. They were all obviously knew each other and uh, didn't know us, you know. But, uh, and then I think we actually, we had a week or so, if I remember right, of no school. So, you know, we got together outside and, and got to know each other pretty well and uh, spent a lot of time together because we didn't have a we didn't have a field till November. I mean, we were all a little bit surprised that you know we get on campus this was all dirt and there was a bulldozer out there and we actually had to lay the sod before we could even start practicing so um, so I think a lot of that being able to have guys that's been with Coach Cantrell um, that came along as that kind of that core group um, that kind of kept us from getting off the rails. I was in the outfield shagging fly balls and he came up for batting practice. And we had, the team we had at the time was pretty stacked. And he wasn't the tallest kid, wasn't the strongest kid. Um, the first pitch he hit over the left field fence, just a rocket. And then he hit about 12 more in a row, <laughs> over and over and over. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm getting bored because everything I'm, I see is over the fence, you know. But uh, I immediately noticed him, and then he switched around and hit left-handed. I'm thinking, who is this kid? I think we were at uh, Georgia Southwestern. We were playing, and, and um, there was a ball hit between short and third, and Petey was going towards the six hole, and I don't know that he threw his glove at it, but his glove came off. And Coach Galima there at the time um, got on him pretty good. I remember our pitching coach at the time, Hal Galima, used to used to get on Sean pretty good, and he'd make those errors. And whatever, Hal was the pitching coach, and say, "Sean, you're the worst detriment to this pitching staff I've ever seen." And uh, maybe a little known to a lot of people is he was a good drummer, great musician. So our routine almost every day was after class or after practice to go home and play music. I had my humble guitar, you know, and and I'd play along and and. Um, he studied at the time, it was Dave Matthews, was, that was the, the band, and he had a, um, a DVD of the, the drummer of Dave Matthews, and so he would emulate him. I remember he used to wear his Creed t-shirt underneath his jersey. He was a big Creed fan. He'd play games with a Creed t-shirt? Underneath, that's where, that was his, his go-to undershirt, I think, it was a Creed shirt. He was a Creed guy. Uh, he is a, he's a great father uh, and a great husband. He's also a fighter. Um, he's been through a lot in the last few years, and I really, I'm proud of him for receiving this honor, but I'm more impressed by the fact that he's done what he's done in the last few years with his life and his health, really rebounded. You know, obviously what he went through was pretty heavy, and but there's, he's the kind of guy that it doesn't matter what load you put on him, he's gonna carry it. Uh, I know it meant a lot to him when he got the call uh, that he was being inducted in the Hall of Fame to the point where uh, he was very emotional and because it means a lot to him. Uh, I don't think anything right now personally other than, you know, not taking aside his family, anything other personally that means more to him than this day. He is the mold of a North Georgia baseball player and, my, and that's just my opinion. I mean, here's a guy that played at another institution and came here to start a program and was a leader on the ball, ball club for 
for two years. I mean, that's a guy that uh, kind of got this thing going the way that it did. He did things the right way. And so a reward like this is, is it, it feels so much better knowing the person, but also knowing that he deserves it. Because he loves this place. He loves this program. And now he'll be for ever cemented here. He very much deserves it. I'm very proud of him. Uh, and I love him. And that, he, he's a Hall of Fame person to me. And, uh, you know, this is an honor that, that he's well deserving of, but it doesn't change who he's always been and who he will be going forward. But this is a special day for him and it's something that's long overdue uh, for him. And uh, he should be very proud and he will be very proud because he loves University of North Georgia.